So I've been thinking for a long time about knitting as meditation. And um, I originally wanted to do a get together every once in a while where everyone got to practice together. It's very nice to do it together, just, not just on your own. But um, the way this works is you bring some nice yarn that you like to look at and that feels very nice and um, your favorite needles, either a hook or a needle, depending on what you like to do, whether crochet or knit. And um, I just sit for a few minutes with my needles and my yarn in my hands and kind of get used to the surroundings. I'm out in a beautiful park today and um, while there are other noises, they're easily, they're easily in the background. So I, the idea is just to relax with the knitting. I know we do that a lot with our knitting anyway, but this is a different thing. This is a, you're not trying to make anything. You're not trying to follow a pattern. You are just with your yarn and your needles or hook. So I am going to just cast on some stitches, not very many. Doesn't matter how I cast them on. I'm going to do a knitted cast on just because it's faster. Not that we're into fast. I could do the long tail cast on. It's really just to be with your knitting and your needles, to be with your yarn. I picked a yarn that is kind of colorful so that I, it's a little bit more visually interesting, although solid yarn can be that way as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast on the stitches and then I'm going to just sit here and knit for about 15 minutes. Um, just quietly being with my knitting. And just try to be mindful of the movement of my hands, the movement of the yarn.
what I love about this is that I really am focusing on my knitting and not in a critical way, but in kind of a curious way. Like, oh, I see better like what I do to actually even create knitting. How I move my hands, how I adjust if things are a little off, how I move the stitches along. And actually, I think this is what makes me a good teacher because I see how I use my hands and what's happening with the yarn as I move my hands. And so when I watch someone else, I'm more attuned to how they're using their hands and how they're moving their yarn or how it might be impeding them in some way just from um, how far away they hold their needles or how they're holding their yarn. So I see that with myself. But it's no judgment, it's just really enjoying it, watching how when I put my needle in and wrap the yarn and then pull it through the stitch, like how that magic happens. Suddenly you've gone from a loop and you bring another loop through and the other loop is captured, but you have a new loop. It's, kind of, it's magic, it's wonderful. And when I do knit, not in like this kind of a meditation, but just in general, I do find that even though I th I'm thinking about other things, I, I knit silently. I don't usually knit very much watching TV or listening to music or anything. I just sit quietly and knit. And so I have a lot of thoughts, but at the same time, it's really about the knitting. It's about enjoying what I can see is happening. And it allows everything else to just melt away. So the nice thing about this is that you don't have to make anything. You just, with your yarn and needles, and you can knit a whole bunch or you could knit a very little. And then when you're done, you can sit and be with what you did and feel what it feels like and see how the colors play with each other. And the great thing is, once you're done, just take it off your needle or hook, and you rip it out.
and this is fun too because often when we're ripping out we're frustrated and annoyed but I'm not I'm totally calm and relaxed it's lovely so I suggest you might want to try this it's very relaxing 